Hey, Brendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. Hey, Larson. Yeah. Let's answer some questions. What do you say? Sure, let's do it. Yeah. All right. What do you got first? Uh, here, one from uh, Tristan asks, uh, who would you book for the casino ladder match? Let's say there's six people, including the Joker. And uh, who do you have going over? So, of course, that's been announced for uh, All Out on Sunday. And typically, when they have these casino ladder matches, there's usually a surprise entrant at the Joker. Joker. Genuine Joker product. Yeah. I'll tell you who I don't want. I don't want it to be MJF. I feel like he is, his return needs to be, and I, I, I always felt that way about Hangman when he came back and, and got his title shot by being in one of those ladder matches, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I feel like it should be more like, I don't know, substantial than just showing up to a match and then he wins it. Um, I don't know. I want MJF's thing to be bigger mm-hmm. when he comes back than just being in the in the thing. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, here's a great answer. Jorge D says, Brian Cage. Uh, Jorge D also says, Zach Clayton to win it. <laughs> yeah, oh, even better. Even no, better. I don't pass. know. Who do you who do you want to see in that? Who who still hasn't who still hasn't uh I don't know, who'd be a fun So I'm looking at the roster now. Mm-hmm. Um I mean I guess now that House of Black isn't well, I guess they could have a six six man tag match, so never yeah. mind disregard. See, Jericho's got a match, Christian's got a match. Uh Claudio's already got a world title, probably not him. Darby could very well have a match. Oh, geez, look at this. Galactic says, what if it's Punk and he gets his match later that night? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, what uh, if it's a stacked ladder match? What if it's like everybody, like, think about it, like uh, 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 Hangman, Punk, MJF. <laughs> They're all in the ladder match. <laughs> but then, yeah, Devar- yeah uh, 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 Parker Boudreaux wins it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just the trust busters in the ladder match. I mean, the potential is there for um a lot of people to be like names you might expect to be in it to be booked already. Yeah, right. How about Luigi Primo? Okay, man, the <laughs> the way the way that he does the the crust throughout the whole match is really damn impressive. Impressive as hell, right? Really is. Isn't that crazy? Um, so this is not what I would suggest. But given that Tony Khan loves to not use his own roster, it'd be like half these people are going to be from other companies. Entirely possible. It's going to be like Ticking Time Bomb, Hiromu. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, Sammy Callahan. It's going to be... Uh, I have your answer here. This is who, one person who should be in it, the person who wins it, Samoa Joe. Oh, man. Let's get some Samoa Joe going here. Please, absolutely, a thousand percent. That'd be great. So even you know, if Punk wins, you could revisit their rivalry in Ring of Honor. Yeah, that's or awesome. if as he should, Mox wins, mm-hmm. we get Mox Joe, oh, and they'll good. beat the crap out of each other. It'll be great. That's great. That's awesome. I love Mojo. Joe. He's the Joker. He wins. We did it. We did it. Good job, uh, Bob. I'm sorry, Bob Kotako says uh, if MJF comes back, will he be an effective face? Or being a heel throughout his career uh, would be better. Which MJF comes back, going to be a bad guy or a good guy? What's going to be? I don't know if he could be a, 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 a typical baby face, but he could do the tweeter thing. Yeah, he's not going to have a choice but be cheered, regardless Probably. of what he does. And when and the thing about him is that you know when he hits people, if he if he hits people in the dick or if he gets his diamond ring out and hits people with that, people will cheer that. Yeah. And and that's just he's just gonna be who he is. I don't suspect there's gonna be a change in attitude. I don't sort of like what we see with Ricky Ricky Starks. He's just Ricky Starks. You know? Mm, yeah, Ricky, he's been he's been a bit more on the baby face side of things. I don't know if I know, MJF but it's not like a complete like change of his though. complete change of character though. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh C Teven says, I know you guys aren't connected with the UK indie scene. But what are your thoughts on how it will change now that NXT UK is closing its doors? Could this lead to a renaissance for the scene? I I would love to think that's the case. I would love yeah. to think that's the case. I yeah, so. me too. Me too. I hope so too. I hope so too. Because it was it was quite the hot scene up until the uh, 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 ITV decided to bring back World of Sport, and then WB decided to bring the uh, start NXT UK. Mm-hmm. I mean, even yeah. that Progress show Mania Weekend in Orlando that was an absolute blast. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, Patrick Sparks here asks, Vince brought Mickey James back at the Rumble as Impact's woman champ. Uh, who should Triple H do the same for a uh, Rumble appearance? Oh, what a great question. Why not CM Punk as AEW champion? Yeah, I was going to say Dean Ambrose as AEW champion. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, who's the uh, – oh, Josh Alexander. It wouldn't be a return. Like, is there a former WWE guy besides – well, yeah, Ember Moon is a WT- TBS champion if she beats Jade. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. It's a couple options for you. Is there anybody in... Swerve and Keith Lee as AEW tag champs? Yeah, FTR is all the other tag champs. Yeah. Yeah, or the Revival, I guess, huh? Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, this is a good one. Uh, the Jam Domingo. Favorite indie wrestling gimmick of all time? With early morning guy steal? That's a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something pretty obvious. The future of Frankie Kazarian. But there's also the future Chris Saban. We never saw him live, though. We saw Kazarian. True. It was like Mather or something like that. Yeah. Do you remember who uh, who Kazarian wrestled? Wasn't it like Abdul the Butcher or something like that? Or was it? No, Korea? it wasn't. A, it was. It was. I don't think it was Abdul the Butcher. Was it the the the, the, the Gigolo? I thought the Gigolo wrestled the Sultan. Was the Sultan Rikishi? I mean, that's who was the gimmick at WWE. I don't know if at that time that was, that was him or not. I have no. I'd love to find that card somehow, some way. Yeah, I, I don't think. I don't think it's possible though. Some things are just lost to time, man. I mean, I'm sure on cage matches somewhere. I just don't know. Like it would have to be '98 at some point. I'll have to I look that up. I, I'll have to look that up. But I'd be kind of shocked if that record exists somewhere, given that like there was so much indie wrestling going on at the time. It was a real boom period back then. Uh, Rooster Loving Man, do you guys think AEW wrestlers taking indie bookings has been a net negative for indie wrestling? He says uh, he believes it is because on one hand, they possibly draw a lot of attention for the show, but he can't remember the last time an AEW guy lost on an indie show. It feels like it negatively affects some promotions like GCW versus the World and House of Glory high-intensity show from Saturday. I don't know what happened at House of Glory. Yeah, I do remember either. feeling like GCW should have handled GCW versus the World a lot differently. Yeah. Um, you know, I can't believe you bring in Jeff Jarrett. You can't have that guy lose. I know. You know? I know. Like, that was confusing as hell to me. I know. Um, and they had Ruby, and I thought Ruby was a good get for GCW. Mm-hmm. And it's like we understand where you know AEW is coming from, but I don't. You got to handle that somehow differently. You got to get your yeah. own guys over. Um, but no, I don't think it's a net negative. I think that if you if if it adds, if it brings more people in, then I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I think you just yep. have to be very careful with how you use them because you understand that AEW wrestlers aren't going to lose. Yep. So you just have to be careful with it. Exactly. Ooh, I like this question, Antonio L. How would you rebrand NXT 2.0? He says, what color scheme would you like to see? Or would you like it to go back to the black and gold? Would you like it to go to full sale? Stay at the performance center or have a traveling brand? Give, go on the road. Get on the road. Yeah, she travel, for a travel, while. travel. Um, in terms of uh, a rebrand, aesthetically speaking, I would love to see that. I do not want to see it go back to black and gold. Um, I think uh, maybe move on to black and volt. Oh, that'd be great. I think that's where you want to go. Blue. Like, dude, DX's thing was volt. Yep. You know, yep. so uh, make it make it something like that. And uh, you know, obviously, it's Triple H is in charge, so you got to get a little bit of the metal aesthetic. But maybe like a future cyberpunk volt aesthetic, metal cyberpunk and volt. I mean, that's All a lot on going one. on, but. Oh, man, absolutely. Even more than that. I looked Luke. through Abdul the Butcher's uh, profile on Cage Match and didn't see anything in 1998 in, in this area. So, mm, Yeah, man. I guess Cage Match really doesn't have everything. <laughs> well, you know, they're not, they're not time-traveling historians that we know of. Maybe that we they'll know get of. to it. Maybe they'll get to it. Time travel t- it takes a lot of energy. Luis Areza says, what's been your favorite moment or moments on the podcast? Doing going in raw. What's top moment? You know the the it, our, our journey there was fraught, but uh, we got to go to New York for SummerSlam. Um, that was a lot of fun. 
I mean, we had a horrible Charlotte interview there, but you know, by by the end of it, it, ca- it came back around. All the other interviews I thought were fine. Going to the actual event was cool. First time I I think either of us had been to New York City. Um, it's 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 hard not for me at least not to say that. But that and Friendo Fest in in Vegas, those are the, the kind of the two first things that pop in my head. I I, I can't. Yeah, Vegas would be my number one because I thought it was a fun road trip. We went to Barstow Del Taco. Um, yeah, we got to meet like a million friendos. Starcast mm-hmm. was a lot of fun. We got a lot of memories there. New York, New York will probably be number my number two, but uh, yeah, a lot of great memories there. Starcast, I, I I love doing that stuff. I love doing you know the the comic book convention circuit back with with Jeff back in the day, mm-hmm. and I got a lot of those same vibes from from Vegas this year. And then Chicago, Chicago was awesome too. Yeah, Chicago was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Jason Lewis, uh, what do you think, what do you feel could be the best and worst potential outcomes from this weekend's matches? Worst potential outcome for me is a CM Punk babyface underdog victory oh, over Moxley. Bleh. That would not make any sense in the world. Bleh. Wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, that would be, that would be a massive, massive, massive bummer and a huge, a huge creative misstep for AEW if that's, if that was, that were the outcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, they, could they put together a compelling match where CM Punk is, a, is an underdog babyface? Sure, that everybody goes crazy over. I guess so, but just looking at it from now, at this point, it's just it's not very believable. No, would it's not. I not find that believable. It's not. He got destroyed by Mox, and he walked in that match with, with, uh, with two good feet. Now he's walking to this rematch with one bad foot. Yeah, that makes you should sense. Get this at, like, Mox should wipe the floor with him. Yeah. Uh, I like this question. Eastside Reviews says, what wrestler do you want to see have a young rock style TV show about them? And he's, he says it should be Sid. Oh, um, that'd be amazing. I would go with Foley. I think going with Mick Foley, I think that'd be a lot. That would be really interesting. That could be pretty cool. That could be really cool. But don't do do not do it like, I, don't, I wouldn't do it like Young Rock. Let's not do a sitcom. I want to do like a <laughs> fucking HBO budget drama, man. I think that'd be cool as fuck. That'd be neat. Yeah. Or same thing, but about Sid. That'd be cool, too. I mean, there'd be a lot of softball. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. There'd be a ton of softball, yeah. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, Dynasty's Edge says, when you get the chance to, what other companies do you watch apart from AEW and WWE these days? He mentions NWA being his current other show at the moment. Um, I mean, Impact, obviously. Watch that. I try to keep up with New Japan as best as I can. I don't usually do a very good job of actually watching the show, but I try to keep up with at least what's going on. I watched uh, the the latest episode. It's like a month old of uh, MLW a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago, mm-hmm. and it wasn't as good as when I saw it. Like I don't know a year ago. Yeah, it was very Enzo heavy. Enzo came out and dropped a promo, and it was really long. And then he had a match with Lince Dorado, and that was pretty long. Hmm. And yeah, I just, I wasn't really into it, but I'm willing to give it another shot, especially now with NXT UK coming to an end. It's like, okay, well, let's figure out how we're going to use this extra hour. Exactly. Should we try something else? Should we try like a rotating thing? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You know, it, it all depends on what people really want to see. But uh, but yeah, no, I'm I'm open to trying to trying new things. I just want more wrestling companies to bust out hour long shows. Yeah, I know. That's kind you know, of give me a single hour. The ideal. That's one of the reasons that why NXT UK was so awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Sinister says, instead of Young Rock, do Young Cronus. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate we appreciate all the questions. Yes. Thanks so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, the little notify bell next to it. Hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Till next time, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>